Okay, up next we're gonna cut leeks and oddly shaped peppers. So I'll do a little tutorial on how to do those so that you guys don't have to worry about these. And uh, leeks, I don't know if you have a hard time with them, but maybe you hate the dirt and we'll talk about the dirt too. So, first thing to do with a leek for me is take off the dark green. If you're making stock, this is a great place to put it. This will go in the stock and that'll help you out. If not, you can just throw it in the compost, it's fine. Or you can chop it really thinly. But the real matter is, take your leaf, leek. This one's kind of nasty on the end. So I'm gonna cut that off. Split it in half. It's ideal to leave the root on so that it kind of holds together. And then pull off this outer leaf. You'll see it's kind of papery. And it's not good. Now this can go in stock as well, but I'm not making stock for a while. I'm going to take off one or two layers until we get down to the kind of more tender. And that's going to get rid of most of the dirt as well that gets in there. This one actually looks pretty clean, but uh, it's a bit rubbery. So next up, just like everything, cut it into workable chunks. And then I just cut these in half like this. Got your matchsticks, and now you got nice, consistently chopped leeks. The other thing is, you can take these all the way down to the root. They're good to eat, so don't skimp on what you're taking. Use the whole thing, other than the woody, papery, nasty bits. So that's leek. Now, if they are really dirty, you put them in a container, cover them in water, mix them up, do a couple changes of water, and then run them through a strainer, and that'll get rid of the dirt, and you just let them soak a little bit while you're doing some other stuff. Okay, poblanos. So there's two ways to do peppers. The first way would be if you're doing a normal shaped pepper, take off your top, take off your bottom, and then what you do is you can cut in with your knife, and it's going to just come around like this and separate all the ribs. But these are kind of awkward to do that with. And while it might be nice, I don't find it to be that useful. And then these guys, the top and the bottom, are more difficult to utilize as well. So once you've done this, then you can just cut it quickly into julienne. And you have nice diced peppers. And for the tops, what I do is I just kind of do the same thing. It's real easy when they're like this. And then you get not a perfect dice, but a pretty decent one. And it doesn't really take that much energy. And then the bottom, you can cut that in half and kind of do the same thing as well. If it's tapered to a point like this, if it's flat on the bottom like a normal bell pepper, you just cut that straight up into julienne, just like we did on the top, and it'll be fine. Okay, the other way to do peppers, which when they're awkward, this is kind of more how I do it, is just cut it straight in half, and I just pull the seeds out, right out, and kind of bang it on the board to get all the seeds out. Or against my hand. That makes a little bit more of a mess, but not like a big deal. And then, these peppers don't have really pronounced ribs, so they're pretty okay. And then you can just cut the whole thing like that. And you don't have to mess with the top and bottom.
this way is not going to look quite as nice, but it is really fast and convenient. So, that's Weird Peppers and Links.